Welcome back everyone to my channel. Uh, recently I did a video on the Simpure T1 400 tankless reverse osmosis water filtration system and I installed it underneath the sink here. This is my kitchen island sink and it has been working absolutely great. I'm very happy with it. Uh, but I did want to show you the difference between the um, tank and tankless. So it is a tankless system. You don't need a tank on it, but they do have one optional if you want to get one. And what this is, is a pressure tank, just like a well house pressure tank for your, for your well. It will maintain a certain amount of pressure. Now it holds about one liter of water. So for that first liter of water, you'll get full, beautiful pressure coming out of that thing. After that, it'll be the pressure that's pushed through the filters and it's at a reduced rate but it does help when you're just getting a glass of water you know now and then and it helps with filling up bigger containers because you got that extra liter of water coming out of there at a very high rate of water or volume i should say so what i want to show you is first how much water we can get out of this here um i i got a this is actually a two cup measuring cup here about 500 milliliter and um, we're going to fill up this thing to two cups or 500 milliliters and see how long it takes and now what we'll do is that pressure tank under the sink here i'm going to turn it off because you can bypass it basically and then we'll do the same test and see how much water how long it takes to fill up so the first thing we're going to do is i'm going to keep the valve here on the top of the tank open so the water from the filters goes into the tank and builds a pressure and we'll see how long it takes to fill a glass. And then what I'll do is I'll turn this valve here off and that'll keep water from coming into the tank just as if we didn't have the tank at all. And we'll see how long it takes to fill a glass of water. All right, so what I'm gonna do is fill this up to two cups or 500 milliliters and start my uh, stopwatch here on my phone all at the same time and see how long it takes. All right, here we go. Ready? And go. Okay, it took nine and a half seconds basically. And now what we'll do is we'll turn the uh, valve off. Like that. And now it'll bypass the tank and it'll be just like we didn't have the tank connected. All right, so I have my stopwatch reset. I turned off the uh, valve on the pressure tank so it bypasses it. And let's try this again. So now it's strictly dependent on the pump. Okay, so it took 26 seconds, almost 27. All right, that was a huge difference. It's, a, it's well worth getting the tank. They're very inexpensive, super easy to connect. Um, if you're wondering how much two cups or 500 milliliters of water is, I got a nice tall glass of, of well, it's a tall glass. Okay, <laughs> it's a tall glass of water, basically. So for me, I would rather have it with the tank because I can fill this nice glass of water up here. No problem, very fast. I probably filled that up in under eight seconds. Ah, 
and you'll get your water that much faster. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm going to put a link in the description under the video to the tank and the whole system. If you haven't watched that video, I'm going to put that right up here. And um, that is about it, guys. I appreciate you watching. Please like, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video. Mm -hmm.